Imagine you have to get an MRI scan for a routine medical procedure. You'll probably be asked to remove all items of jewelry before the scan. But what about a face mask? During the time of COVID-19, it is highly likely that you'll still be asked to wear a face mask. Now you may wonder what could be a safety concern with a face mask. Turns out that FDA has just issued a safety advisory warning notice related to the use of certain types of face masks during an MRI. Hello everyone, I'm Naveen Agarwal and welcome again to my weekly video update. MRI scans are routine in the United States. Over a hundred MRI scans are done for every 1000 people in our country and that translates to roughly 40 million scans per year. That's a large number. Now we are aware of the risks associated with metallic objects in an MRI or during the MR environment. But the face mask doesn't come to mind in that context. That is why this adverse event was reported to the FDA and I want to talk about that event in this particular video. But I also want to focus on a few more hazards that you should be aware of during an MRI scan. Now they may not come to mind immediately and but may be very relevant, especially if you are designing and developing these products, trying to manage their risks during development, or if you happen to be a patient who has an implant, a medical device implanted, you should be aware and ask those questions to your doctor or the MRI technician. So we'll focus on those hazards and I want to leave you with an FDA guidance that you can refer to for more details. So let's look into this. So this warning from the FDA says that the face masks with metal may cause burns during an MRI. And turns out that they received an injury report for a patient who was wearing a face mask with metal during a three Tesla MRI scan of the neck. So it is close to the region where the face mask is present. The report describes burns to the patient face consistent with the shape of the face mask. So most likely the contributing factor is the metallic object inside the face mask. So where is that coming from? Well, you could have a nose wire in a lot of these cloth, ma uh, cloth masks, which is used to clip it tight around your nose, or you may have coatings of metallic particles such as copper or silver for antimicrobial properties. Similarly, in masks like this, you could have a nose wire and another coating, or you could have an N95 respirators or another mask that may have some small elements, metallic elements. Okay, so MRI scanners use high magnetic fields. Most of the MRI scanners out in the field use 1.5 Tesla. Tesla is the unit of the magnetic field. But 3.0 Tesla magnets are now finding increasing use in clinical settings. Why? Because they offer very high image quality, good resolution, so the doctor can detect even small areas they can be done at high speed. So you don't spend as much time during the scan. Now their installed cost may be higher, but the overall operating cost may be lower. They do have these safety concerns, additional safety concerns beyond the 1.5 Tesla magnet scanners that we should be aware of. So here's the guidance from the FDA. It is in still in draft form. I will provide a link to this guidance in my video. It talks about four different hazards, motion, because displacement and torque can induce motion from the magnetic field. Heating because of radio frequency, vibration again because of the magnetic field, and potentially malfunction of the device, especially if it is an active implanted medical device. Okay, so let's focus on the radio frequency induced heating. First, second, third degree burns have been reported and they depend upon the characteristics of the coil. For example, the geometry of the coil, the material of the coil, the transmission mode of the radio frequency, but also patient and device characteristics like the patient anatomy, the tissue, the position of the body part in relation to the magnetic environment or the radio frequency environment, device, geometry, the material of the device, the size, the location, active versus passive device. So there are a variety of factors that contribute to overheating. Now, 
The change in the magnetic field, for example, pulsating magnetic field that is also used during the scan may also introduce heating of elements of the medical device that you may be trying, that you may want to focus on. So in the risk assessment process, you need to take care of all of these hazards and factors to evaluate. Now, what may be of use to you are some of the FDA recognized standards that they mention in this particular guidance. For example, ASTM 2052 is a standard test method for measurement of magnetically induced displacement force on medical devices in the MR environment. FDA would expect data on induced displacement force because that causes movement of the medical device and that may cause injury to the surrounding tissue. ASTM F2119 is a standard test method for evaluation of MR image artifacts from passive implants. ASTM F2182 is a standard test method for measurement of RF-induced heating near passive implants during MR imaging. ASTM F2213 is a standard test method for measurement of magnetically induced torque. Torque is this rotational force which can also cause uh, damage to the surrounding tissue. ASTM F2503 which is a standard practice for marking medical devices and other items for safety in the MR environment. So that's labeling requirements. And finally ISO TS10974 is assessment of the safety of MR imaging for patients with an active implantable medical device, for example, a pacemaker. So, you know, this was triggered by a recent adverse event related to a face mask. But what it brought to my mind is other hazards that may be relevant during an MR environment. Now, if you are developing these products, be aware of different factors and assess the risks associated with those factors with your medical device. Make sure you have data from some of these standards that FDA has mentioned in their guidance. Make sure that you have evaluated all the risks and controlled all these risks. And if you are a patient, know more about your implanted medical device. It may be active or passive. It may be inside the body or outside. All of those questions are relevant. Be aware of what kind of a device it is, what kind of risks it can pose, especially related to movement and overheating. Ask questions, talk to your doctor, talk to the MRI technician. Inform them of anything that might be relevant and could become a potential safety issue. Now, as if it, when it comes to masks, we are going to have to wear these masks for even some more time during COVID-19. You may not know if your mask has a metallic coating or if it has a nose wire which is made up of metal. So talk to the MRI tech. Make sure that they give you an alternate safer mask in case your mask happens to have these factors. But it's important to be aware and I hope all of you will take the right steps to be, to be safe in this particular environment. I hope this is helpful to you, but let me know if you have any further questions or comments. I love to hear from you. So leave a comment or follow me on LinkedIn and have a conversation directly over there. I want to thank you for your interest and attention, and I hope all of you are staying safe in these very, very difficult circumstances. Thank you.